welcome back to my channel friends so in today's topic i am going to teach you how to bypass an automatic voltage regulator of any alternator the first question is why we should ever bypass an avr when any alternator connected to the avr and the and the whole system does not generate uh, desired output this method can be used uh, we, we bypass the avr and start the alternator if after bypassing the avr we are getting desired output that means that our avr is defective so in this uh, video we will learn how we can bypass the avr and check our alternator so that we are sure about our avr's healthiness so uh, there are many situations wherein we attend the site or we attend the alternator where you get a uh, very low voltage or very high voltage or there is voltage fluctuation so the first thing uh, comes to our mind is what is the reason for this thing so uh, there may be other faults including a faulty avr so so what is the method and how we can check if any avr is faulty on site first thing first this method can be used on any alternator and on any avr so irrespective of the avr model or the alternator model this method is used in all the alternators so for this uh, video's purpose i have taken as440 this is the stamford avr as an example so all the avrs will have two co two common pins one is f1 and second one is f2 so all the avr models will have two these pins compulsory f1 and f2 so to uh, carry out this test first thing we require are two separate wires so as you can see in the video i have taken uh, two crocodile clips so this uh, crocodile clips are available in the market so i am using these two crocodile clips so i have taken two wires uh, one end of the wire i have connected to the crocodile clip and the second end of the wire i have connected to a lug so depending on the avr model you have to select a particular lug so this two crocodile clips then the two uh, wires and you require two lugs so when you have this item uh, you are ready to bypass the alternator avr so i'll show you how these two wires can be used so now you can see i have connected uh, f1 and f2 of the alternator with the lugs of the external wire which i have prepared so i'll connect uh, the two lugs to f1 and f2 and the the other end of the wire that is our crocodile clip is connected to the uh, battery of the alternator every alternator will, will have its own uh, battery so you have to connect the crocodile clips to the positive and negative terminal of the battery there is no uh, requirement of connecting uh, to the particular polarity you have to just randomly connect any uh, crocodile clip to positive and the other one to negative and now i am going to start the alternator and show you so when i uh, connect all the system and start the alternator we will see that there is a, uh, a voltage build up in our alternator if all the criteria are okay and we bypass the avr we should get our desired output so here you can see we are getting desired output in our alternator so this proves that there is no problem with the alternator i hope you like the video thanks for watching if there are any uh, issues or if there are any questions please comment below thanks for watching have a good day